go back to amelogenesis. Here we have ameloblasts in the morphogenic stage. Here's the outer enamel epithelium. And we come up, we've got some dentin forming in here, so we will call that the organizing stage. And then we start to see the enamel proteins being laid down. And if we take a closer look at this, we can see Chrome's processes. So there's the enamel. You can see little divots in the surface. There are the ameloblasts in the synthetic or the formative stage. And there is the outer enamel epithelium. And as we follow this up, you see the enamel is thicker up there and it's next to the cusps. And we have that outer or that uh, reduced enamel epithelium completely covering that enamel organ. Okay, well, if we want to look at enamel, we need to look at ground sections. And there are at least three, well, actually, yeah, there are three in your slide box to examine both longitudinal sections and also a cross section through the crown. So as we come down, well, here we've got some dentin. So we'll find that enamel. And right there, right off the bat, what are those lines that we see right there? Those are the lines of Retzius. So they're going off at kind of an angle. And as they come up to the surface of the enamel, they would form the periparamata. Now we'll have some teeth out in the lab when we do the cementum. Uh, on your handout, it mentions an enamel pearl demonstration. We'll wait until we do cementum and show those all at one time. So we can see those lines of Retzius, and as we go up in magnification here, these lines that we see going more or less in this direction, those are the enamel rods. So they bisect or are bisected by those lines of Retzius. And then down here we have the DEJ. All right, well, let's look around for some other things on this slide. We can see an enamel lamella right there going all the way from the DEJ up to the surface of the tooth. Sometimes when these are cut in sections, you may not get the entire enamel lamella. And as we go up towards the cusp here, you can see more enamel rods. In, these, in this case, they're a little bit twisted. See those right in there. More enamel lamella. And then it looks like the tooth fractured during the section. Pretty much the same thing on the other side here. Okay, that's one slide. Let's take a look at some other ones here. 